Okay, we are at the Rolf Apiary. These are the two, three hives actually that we moved to the new location. We left them with two honey supers on top just to make sure they'd have plenty of extra room. We're going to get into them today and find out if they swarmed and if they need another honey super. Well, we got an answer to one of the questions already. And the question is, did any of the two, the hives swarm? The answer is yes. They must have just done it. I'm not gonna try and catch them. We'll just let them go find a place to live. There's another little mini group, possibly a cast off swarm from some vir from uh, virgins being hatched. Guess we better get in here and find out what's going on. All right, we grabbed the, the honey supers off. They weren't super full. Um, and we'll get down in here real quick and just check and see if uh, these are the girls that swarmed or not. And hopefully we don't uh, tear up any of the queen cells. Let's just start pulling frames. I'll let you know if we find anything interesting. All right, I'm gonna try and show you all the drones on here. That's these big guys here. These really big fat bees. They're the male bees. They're the ones that mate with the queens. That's a, that's a drone. So this could be the hive that swarmed. They like to make a lot of drones and get ready for uh, when they're getting ready to swarm. And that whole frame. Of course, the not surprised to find the drones on the honey frame because the other thing drones do is eat honey. And that's about it. Besides mating queens. All right. If I had to guess right away, this is probably one of the, uh, this is probably the hive that swarmed. We've got three really nice queen cells lined up on there. So it's probably these girls here that swarmed. Just gotta be careful we don't uh, tear those cells up. Probably not good to hang them upside down either. All right. We better be very careful with that one. Well, there's some more. There's another queen cell. It's closed. Those other two on the other side don't have anything in them. I don't see the queen. There is some larvae in here. What, what'll be missing is uh, fresh eggs. Oh, shoot. I wish I, oh, here it is again. You can hear the queen piping. Listen. Let's see if she does it again. You hear it? That was it. I hope you heard that. That was the queen in one of the queen cells piping uh, to the bees and the other queen cells. Basically, so they'll reply and then when she comes out, she can go over and sting them. So that was pretty cool. All right, just a quick update. Um, took the top box off. It had lots of queen cells. Hopefully we're not damaging any. I don't even think I need to check this one. It probably has queen cells too. So this is probably the hive that swarmed. Could be the other ones too, we never know. But I'm gonna pop this off, clean the bottom board because I never got that done this year. And then uh, we'll think about putting them back together. Hopefully you heard the uh, queens piping in the other box. But basically nothing more to do here. We, we left them plenty of, uh, plenty of queen cells. They should be in good shape. We're gonna wrap them up. Okay, I just popped the uh, two honey supers off. The side-by-side -side hives here. And they were quite heavy. So I think we better add a honey super. And while we're doing it, we'll put, we'll put another full-size box, deep box honey super on here. And we'll put a, uh, we'll put a medium on this one that swarmed. And let's just go in here and see if they're getting ready to swarm. Okay, first uh, first frame out on this side. Lots of cat brood. 
and big queen cells. There's probably something in that one. It's a pretty good size. Lots of brood. These hives are gonna be uh, pretty full. A lot of nectar. I see brood up here. We broke open some cells. Could have been, uh, could have been some queen cells in there. They're kind of funky looking though. I'm gonna clean those off real quick. This is all honey. Looks like we broke a queen cell. That's all honey. Yeah, that's a queen cup. There was nothing in it. This looks like uh, pollen and honey. Boy, it's a heavy frame. There we go. Shake them off and clean them up. All right, that's a big honey frame. I'm gonna shut this down until we get to lower levels. Yeah, I'd say these uh, these side by sides are packed. They are packed full. I am breaking up some uh, queen cells when I'm opening them up, but uh, I'm not gonna tear that box apart. I got a feeling there's a lot of queen cells in there. I'm just gonna give a quick glance in here. Maybe pull one out of the middle and, and see what we got in there. Okay, I think we got a virgin queen in here already see if I can point her out here she is this one already has a virgin queen which is great uh, where'd she go there she is she's so little I think that's her right there I think that's the virgin queen hopefully that's coming through but she certainly looks like a like a virgin queen yep yep I think that's her she just needs to go out and get mated. But you see her? There she is. I think that's her right there. Oop. I believe that's the Virgin Queen right there. So, she needs to go out and get mated. And uh, that's a good sign, so I'm not too worried about the other uh, queen cells and stuff. I mean, she looks like she's in pretty good shape. She's not huge, but she might get bigger once she gets mated. So these girls probably already swarmed. Yeah, you can definitely tell by the uh, the size of her thorax there. Whoa, shoot. She hang on. Yep. I don't know what I did. I cut the crap out of myself. So there she is. That's her crawling right there. I'm just going to leave her alone and try to put her back in there without uh, without squashing her. Okay, cool. So, there she is some more. There she is. Okay, she's down in there. Let's... Uh, Okay, that was pretty cool. We saw the Virgin Queen in there. So, uh, these girls are set. I'm not worried about those other uh, queen cells that uh, probably broke. And actually, I noticed that a lot of them look like they were empty. So, so they'll be in good shape. I don't know what's going on next door. I don't see any, uh, I don't see any activity down here. 
Let's see what's going on in here. Here we go again. Can't get the girls back in the box. They never make it easy. Well, can you tell which one it was? Uh, well, I think this one swarmed, but this one's got a virgin queen in it. I found her at the bottom. So this one swarmed too. Now my problem is I can't get all the daggone. They do this to me in these boxes because they're so small. Uh -huh. I either need to split these things into bigger hives or something. So this 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 hive, I think, swarmed. They got cap queen cells. I didn't see any sign of eggs or a queen. So this one, I, I just happened to pull. I'm pulling those off. I found queen cells in there. Um, they didn't look like there was anything in them. I get down to that bottom box, and I just happened to pull the center frame out. And there I see this little tiny queen one. I'm like, oh, that's a virgin queen. You can tell she hadn't been mated. Let's see if I can smoke these bees out of here. And get them back together. The funny thing is, I'm not seeing hardly any activity out of this side of the hive. So I wonder what's going on over here. Oh, you haven't done that one yet? Uh-uh. Come on, girls, get out of there. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can find this over. I hate to do that. So much smoke. Yeah, down at the bottom. Well, there's bees in there. Well, the good news is that the other side's got a queen already. She just needs to go out and get mated. Now we got to find out what's going on in this side. The weird thing is I haven't seen a lot of activity flying in here. So we'll take a look. If I find something, we'll turn it back on. Okay. This, this side, it has a, this side has a virgin queen already too. I just saw her. Hopefully she didn't fly off because she was looking a little, uh, little skittish. Oh, there she is. There she is right there. Hopefully you can see her. That's her right there. She's a little bigger than the other side. So she's gonna be a good queen. I'm gonna put them, uh, I'm gonna put her back in there and try and leave them alone. You can see the other uh, queen cells kind of torn down and such. So I'm gonna go ahead and just rip these off. All right, where'd she go? Hopefully she didn't fly off. Nope, there she is on the bottom. She's walking back over to this side. Hopefully you can see her. Oh, see, she's got her tail in the air. Boy, I hope she doesn't fly away. Oh, well, I'm trying to do that. There's, There she is right there. There's the other virgin queen right there. Okay. Oh, look at her looking at that hole. Oh, she's getting a drink of, she getting some honey on her own? Look at her. But boy, she is, uh, got her wings ready like she's about ready to fly. So I better, we better put her back in there before we have an accident.
Where'd she go? Hopefully she didn't fly off. If I can find her again real quick here, I'll show you. I put it back in and the thing wouldn't go down in there real real good. And so I pulled it back out. Now I'm, I want to make sure I don't crush her or anything. She was bigger than the girl on the other side. <laughs> Sometimes they get skittish and fly off the frame when you're looking at them. I don't know. There's just a big, huge bunch of bees right here. Well, she just jumped right out at me when I picked it up the first time. I'm like, oh, there she is. She's quite a bit bigger than the one on the other side, but she's definitely not mated yet. That's probably the queen cell she came out of. So you can see how this queen cell is chewed off, like just perfectly. That's probably the queen cell she came out of. I hope she didn't take flight and I lost her. So I have to tell you what happened. After I closed the hive up, I looked out of the corner of my eye and noticed a large bee crawling on my veil. I asked my brother-in-law and he said, yep, it looks pretty big. I said, put your hand up there and let it crawl on your glove. And it was the queen. The queen crawled onto my hand and I put her down at the entrance and she went back inside. So everything is okay. Okay, we're just gonna add uh, extra honey supers and put them back together. So I saw a virgin queen in here. Hopefully when we put them back together, we didn't crush them or anything. I'm not gonna worry about the rest of them. Uh, they should be in good shape.